It's basically like teaching yourself a language that is based off of another language. That's basically that's what it is. Shorthand is stenography that is phonetically based and it's written as a way to record speech at the rate of speech. There's a violence, there's a physical violence, and there's also a conceptual sort of wrestling that happens at the same time. The way narrative is built, the way stories are told, I guess I can say, I'm only, I can only sort of say how stories begin. It starts to make sense in my brain with Calvin and Hobbes. That's when I got a glimpse at, you know, oh, this is something that's funny, that's not science, it's not math, it's not history. It's much more about me, or much more about the moment in which I was in, and giving me a sense of spatial validation. <laughs> As a kid, you know what I mean? You let, what language does is it, become, it becomes this thing that is conceptual and physical at the same time. I don't control graphite powder, but I do choose to surround myself in a space where graphite powder is in full control. It has a sort of, you know, for lack of a better term, it has this like double awareness where it is on one level, one of the quintessential objects in drawing. And it is at the same time, this slippery sort of sooty dirty, infectious, feral um, thing that sort of clings to your body like coal dust. I feel like I'm trying to sort of compartmentalize the way I feel about things. I want to be able to separate myself to a certain degree and really allow myself to focus on other people's sort of relationship to the word. Then I can start thinking about the stories that I want to tell, because I don't necessarily want to tell my story. But I am, however, interested in what stories and narratives can do from other people. We're in Chicago. This is one of the bi biggest, most American cities any of you will be in, redlining. And segregation was something that was built into the design of the city. But these aren't places to feel bad for. There are things happening in parts of town that have historically struggled, but that doesn't necessarily mean that there isn't a tremendous amount of potential and love and labor and work, like real work going into these communities. We love art. <laughs> and whatever role art can play, <laughs> 